Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To. So in this video, I'll be showing you what is Discord and how do you use it. But before we start, hurry up and check out all the Discord verges under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you start using Discord and what is Discord? So if you're not familiar, Discord here is a free app or a free platform that you could actually use to create servers. Or in this case, think of them as rooms. Now, servers here serves as a means for you to communicate with different people, whether it might be your friends or different people with the same interests. In this case, we'll be showing you how to create your account as well as how to actually download the app itself. So typically, the first thing you need to do here is you need to go to discord.com. Now, at the top right, you have the lock in button. You go ahead and click on it. And from here, what you need to do is you need to actually register. Go ahead and click on register. Now from here, you'll need to provide the following details. That includes the email, the display, that you, display name that you want to use, your username, as well as the password that you want to use for account, as well as, as the date of birth. In this case, you could also read their terms of service and privacy policy here as well if you want to. But in this case, once you've created your account, you are now ready to start using the actual app. In this case, once you've created your account, go back to discord.com here, click on download for Windows. And from here, that should download the installer, which in this case, once the setup is complete, you can go ahead and open it up and install Discord into your account. Now, once Discord is installed, we are now ready to start using and basically logging in into your account. Now, once you've installed Discord, the first thing you'll see here when you open the app is the option to actually log in into your account, which in this case is provide your username and the password that you use to create your account. Now, once you've created your account, this is what you'll see here. But as you can see, my account is already active here and I have a few things here already going on. Now, in this case, how do we start using Discord here? Well, in this case, on the default Discord UI here, we need to first need to understand what are the different sections here. Now, at the left panel here, you should be able to see different uh, UIs or even the plus button here. So at the left side, you should be able to see all the messages that you have your, with your friends as well as servers that you've joined with. Now, in this case, if you want to create your own servers with your friends, you could go and click on the plus button here, which is the add a server button. And from here, you have the option to create your own or even start for an, for, from a template type, for example, gaming, school club, or whatever. Now, if you want to join already existing club, you could go and click on join a server. And from here, you just need to enter the invite link that the uh, admin or the uh, server admin would actually send you. In this case, once you click or enter the invite link here, just click on join server and you should be able to join their server. Now, by the way, another example here that I'll be showing you is going to be some uh, uh, actual websites here that actually uh, you can join like for example mid journey which is an AI room or a AI server which in this case you could basically create AI images via the server here in this case whenever you click on it it show it should actually give you the invite link here which in this case you just need to click on continue to discord for you to join the server and just click on agree for you to actually join the server so in this case I've already joined the server itself as you can see this is the mid journey actual server now, what if you if you want to create your own server? You could go ahead and click on Add a Server here. Click on Create My Own, and from here you can go ahead and choose whatever here. Like for example, for you and your friends, or for a club or community. In this case, you could choose the for me and my friends, and from here you could enter the server name. So, for example, maybe we want to use the server name here. Click on Create. Yeah, and as you can see, we just created our own servers. Now, by default, we have two options. We have Jero and the general voice channels. So you have two channels here for text and voice. Now for text, you can only send messages or even images in the text channels. Now voice channels would actually contain channels, which in this case, you could basically voice chat with your friends. So for example, you can go and click on general here and you'll be able to join that server via this section here, which in this case, you could go ahead and just start chatting with your friends. Now, in this case, in the general text channels here, you can just basically type in hi if you want to. Now, from here, since you created your own server here, how do you actually invite your friends? Well, in this case, what you need to do is you need to go to your server here. Make sure to click on the server that you've created here at the left panel, since this actually contains our servers. Click on the drop down on the server itself. Click on invite people. 
Now in the invite people, you can go ahead and click on the copy or uh, link here. And from there on, once you copy that, you can go ahead and send this to your friends on other platforms, like for example, Messenger, Instagram, or Snapchat. Now, in this case, be sure to only share the link to your friends because in this case, if you share this to other people, they might actually join or they would actually, you might uh, receive people in the service of that you're not familiar with. Now, also, if you want to edit your server settings, you can go ahead and click on the drop down for your server here. Go to server settings here. And from here, you could change a few things. Like for example, the roles, emojis, that is it. Uh, I included on your server stickers soundboards widgets and server templates now obviously there's going to be a lot of things that you can change here but the general idea here uh, the server settings will contain the settings for your server now also you should be able to see the create channel option now in this case if you click on create channel you have the option to create a separate text channel or a voice channel so for example, you have a group chat or a chat or voice channel for a specific game or a specific voice channel for a specific product, which is something really cool because we'll be able to separate different channels and refocus on a specific topic. Now, also, if you want to make this a private channel, meaning uh, certain people can only access this if you give them access, you can go ahead and allow this one and you'll be able to create your own uh, private channel. Now, in this case, what are the other things that you do in your server here? You can even create categories, create events, and even add, you see the app directory, which in this case, you can actually add different apps into your uh, Discord server. We have the privacy settings here, notification settings, edit server profile, and hide, hide muted channels. Now, in this case, in some cases, your device might not immediately work on your server or you might, your friends might not hear you. Well, in this case, at the very bottom, you have your name and your current status, which is by default, it's going to be online. Now, if you want to turn off your mic, you go and click on it and your mic will be turned off. Now, if you want to deafen or not hear the people you're currently talking it, uh, talking currently, you can go ahead and click on this one and you'll be deafened and you they, they will be muted, but they won't also be able to hear you. Now, if you want to change a few settings about your account and the devices you use, you could go ahead and click the user settings option here. Now, from here, what we need to do is you could go to my accounts here, change a few things like your username, email, phone numbers, and whatnot. You can even change your profile here, your banners, your avatar, family center, privacy safety here. But the most important section here is going to be the option for your app settings, which includes the voice and video, which in this case, if you don't set this up properly, you might have some problems uh, accessing or talking with your friends. So first is make sure to set your invoice device. So for example, if you're using a condenser um, mic, make sure to choose that in here and make sure to choose either a speaker or your headset. So make sure to choose that so you'll be able to basically uh, hear them. Now, also, if you want to check if it's, if it actually works, you can go and click on let's check here and basically see uh, or basically hear if you can actually hear yourself. And uh, from here, if you hear yourself, your friends can actually hear you. Also, you have other options here, like for example, adding uh, video settings, adding backgrounds, or even adding a audio codec here, or using a specific uh, audio codec, and even add echo cancellation here. Now, in this case, you could also use crisp, crisp technology here for noise suppression, but in this case, but yeah, so in this case, uh, generally this section here allows you to change the settings for your account only and not the server. So remember, the settings for your account is different from the settings of the server itself. So the server is at the top here and the settings for your account is going to be at the very bottom. Now, by the way, when you go to direct messages at the top left here, which is the Discord icon, you should be able to basically see a few things here, like for example, your friends, even use Nitro if you want to, or even go to shop here and buy specific uh, cool things like avatar decorations and whatnot. Now, in this case, you could use also Nitro here, which in this case, add a few further functionalities into your account. Like for example, uploading 50 megabyte uploads, uh, custom emoji anywhere for your server, and unlimited super reactions. They also have the Nitro here, which is going to be 500 MB uploads and whatnot. So if you want to scrub that, just click on subscribe here. But again, you need to pay for the, in the specific fee that they have here. Now, when you go to friends here, you have the option to view the online friends, all of your friends, depending on friend, or friend request that you have, and even block people. In this case, if you want to uh, basically add a friend, just click on add a friend here. And from here, you could go ahead and enter their Discord username. Just click on send friend requests. Now from here on, 
you should be good. So those are the basics on how to use Discord, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.